Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Friday, fabulous Friday, I love this today, it says every morning I am grateful, every morning I write down 10 things that I love and I watch my blessings increase, now this is also what's in the secret by Rhonda Byrne, that's one of the most powerful principles of gratitude, in the morning when you start your day, wake up in gratitude, thinking about all the things you have to be grateful for. And 10 is the number of power. 10 has power, just like three has power too. So start by thinking of 10 things. If you can't find 10 today, start with three. And then tomorrow you'll find five. And then the day after you'll find 10. So some days you're going to find 10 things very easily. <clears throat> and they give me a block in the throat chakra. Other times you're going to find... 10 things to be negative about, <clears throat> that's what they're giving me, you know, in blocks in communication or struggles, so focus on the good, if you think of a negative, start turning it into a positive in your mind, so think, okay, we're not communicating, well that's a positive because I have time to work on me, I have time to give back to me, it means my masculine is processing what's going on and realising how much they care, my masculine is gaining a plan to take action. So look for the positive. So the angels want you to chase your positives today. So if you think of a negative, turn it into a positive. Make that your, your challenge today. Make that your goal today. Because you can see things as a challenge or as an opportunity. So 10 has power. So when you say things you're grateful for, whether you're writing them down, thinking them in your mind, singing them out, your blessings will increase. So what they want me to do today, and this is really powerful, they're guiding me to bring in the almost tarot. And what I want to do, I want to take, take out 10 cards, okay? This is exciting what they're guiding me to do here, okay? 10 cards. <clears throat> Thank you, angels. So we've got three, four, five, six. Okay, some more please angels. What do you want me to take out? Three, six, seven, eight, two more. Two more cards, there's one. One more card. Okay, so we've got 10 cards, which is connected with 10 things, and we're gonna look for the blessings in them together. So card one, we've got nurturing energy, wow. So first of all, you know, if you can't think of 10 things to be grateful for, I'm sure you can. But this is just a little extra something to do together right now. So you start thinking of that. So the nurturing energy that you have, first of all, something to be grateful for is that you are the divine feminine. That's a tick. And that you are a nurturing energy. That's a tick. The fact that you may be a mother. You know, if you're not a mother, you have mothering abilities. You help others. You guide others. You care about others. You're there for others and that's a tick. So the nurturing energy of being a divine feminine is something to be grateful for. Things are moving forward. Even if you can't yet see it, you know you can feel it. You feel something shifting. And the fact that you're moving towards the new year is a tick. We'll tick that one. That's something to be grateful for. The fact that you are awake and aware and clear about who you are is something to tick off and be grateful for good choices so you make good choices in your life that's something to be grateful for you know you're not living a lie you're authentic you're in your power that's a good choice so give yourself credit for all the good choices that you've made in your life and it's a good choice to be grateful give that a tick rebirth wow so every day is an opportunity to begin again to feel reborn meditation taps you in with who you are it helps you to receive the answers when we pray we ask when we meditate we receive so things are being reborn right now you may be feeling good today that's a blessing give that a tick off so you're going through a rebirth things are moving forward because of your good choices and the fact that you are a divine feminine isn't that beautiful travel now i love this because we've got a train track that's what they're showing me as here we've got a plane so this is about somewhere you may be going. Now I'm going on a train soon. You know, you may be going on a plane. You may be traveling around. That's something to look forward to and to be grateful for. Give that a tick. Anywhere you've been before, anywhere you've traveled to, 
anything you've experienced. That's something to be grateful for and feel blessed about. So give that a tick. Things you're going to be doing in your future, places you're going to go. That's something to be grateful for. Give that a tick. And also the fact that you and your twin flame are both growing up spiritually. You're both growing up. You're both learning. You're becoming wise. You're here to learn because you're in the school of life as a spiritual being having a human experience. That's something to tick off. We've got union. Wow. You're moving towards union. You're moving towards marriage. You're moving towards everything you want. That's something to feel blessed about. Feel it now to create it later. So this is something to be blessed about. Maybe you're grateful that you're connecting with me and I'm a twin flame in union because that's a preview of what's to come for you. Give that a tick. This is about you seeing other people holding hands, getting married, having proposals of marriage, having a great relationship. That's a preview of what's to come. Be grateful for that. That's a tick. We've got emotional. Be grateful for your emotions, your feelings. It shows you're alive. Give that a tick off. Be grateful for everything you feel. It shows that you are a living, human, breathing being. And trapped. Be grateful that you aren't trapped anymore, that you've got out of that. Be grateful that your masculine is realising they are trapped now and that they will take action to release themselves from that to be free. So remember, any block, delay or obstacle is actually helping the situation in some way, shape or form because it's either creating the way with a lesson or it's a redirection to something else. So give that a tick off. And we've got higher calling. So listen to your intuition that you have a higher calling, that you've come here for so much more, that you are unplugged from the matrix. That's something to be grateful for, that you can talk to the angels or your guides or your loved ones in heaven that you see signs and synchronicities and messages. These are things to be grateful for today, your higher calling. So how many things there have we been grateful for? Many, many more than 10 things. And also looking for the good and the bad. You know, you may think that a trap situation is a bad thing, but remember, it's a neutral thing. It's the way you see it that makes it good or bad. So look at that, it's trapped, okay? My masculine isn't moving forward right now because he's trapped. Why is he trapped? He's trapped because of a marriage. Okay, what's that teaching him that? That's giving him real valuable lessons for your union. And it's teaching you that you are enough. It's showing him what he does and does not want. It's showing him that he is strong enough to make changes and change his life. That he can open the door anytime because being trapped is really about a mindset. If we feel free, we are free. And that's what's happening there. So the trapped energy is being removed. And maybe the trapped energy could be connected with heartburn or things being held inside. You may be going through ascension or physical things. So it's about seeing the good and replacing it with power and knowing that everything is changing. So the message today is every morning. So start either now, you can do it now before you go to bed or tomorrow morning, especially wake up in gratitude, look for 10 things to be grateful for. And you know, maybe you want to do this exercise yourself. You know, they just told me to do this as soon as I looked at the calendar before I started the reading. So any deck of cards, pull 10 cards and then use it to enhance and go on a rampage of appreciation. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.